another hot one. Uh, some relief, hopefully, yeah. coming up soon. People are looking forward to the thunderstorms. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully they don't bring damaging winds or flooding <laughs> rains, but they'll eventually bring down the temperature right. after seeing both weekend days in the 90s. Is it hot enough for you? Uh, much too hot. You know, the much heat index was like 98 <laughs> yesterday, about the same today. So we had 93, 93 today. I'm forecasting 92. The record is 96. So it's not at historic levels, these high temperatures. You see, we fell just shy of all of them. However, yesterday we had a record low minimum temperature, and I think today also we're going to break the record lowest, uh, the record warmest minimum temperature. This would also be the second heat wave of 2022. We've been mentioning you need three days in a row. We're just going to do that because day number four tomorrow, not even in the 80s. We're going to bring the temperature down to 78 in the late morning, and by late afternoon tomorrow evening's commute, Maybe 73, 74 degrees. That's going to feel real nice and getting a break from the air conditioning by tomorrow night. We'll be uh, more seasonable for Wednesday and Thursday, but big changes going from lower 90s to mid to lower 70s in some spots as we end the week on Friday. There'll be another front that comes through on Thursday. Let's take a look at our next weather maker. This cold front still a ways away from central New York. We've been holding on to this high pressure area down to our south, bringing in higher heat and humidity. Dew point temperatures today about 70 to 73 degrees. You couple that with 90, 91, 92, and it's going to near 100 degrees, the heat index. And that's why we have heat advisories. You want to uh, play it safe if you have respiratory issues, you're elderly, a newborn perhaps, you're working outdoors. And hey, it's a great day to play by the water today. It's summer break. I know it's not too far away, the New York State Fair and fall. So you want to soak in that sunshine perhaps. So let's just watch out in the afternoon. The building heat and humidity, this cold front getting a little closer. Could get some stronger thunderstorms for today, although they will be scattered in nature. And we'll go over the timing. Eventually, though, some cooler weather comes in behind this. There is a flooding risk coming up, probably the biggest threat from the storms. Late today, 5 p.m. until about 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, there could be some storms that deposit one, two inches of rainfall in a couple of hours and cause some flooding problems. So let's watch out on the waterways and the roadways, especially. You don't want to drive through a flooded road. So we're quiet this morning, quickly rising temperatures, nearing 90 already by 11 a.m. I'm forecasting 92 degrees. And as we get into the early afternoon, some scattered showers and thunderstorms north and west of the city of Syracuse. And then later in the afternoon for the rest of us, some heavy rain, some gusts of wind could also be a possibility in some of these thunderstorms. And it's still real humid this evening. 80s falling into the 70s during the evening. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight. Very heavy rainfall possible towards tomorrow morning's commute. I think the damaging wind threat is gone by here tomorrow morning's commute time, but we could have thunderstorms going over the same area causing some water issues. Those showers and thunderstorms beneficial for the wells, for the gardens, should be clearing out as we go into the afternoon, becoming isolated, some clearing tomorrow night, and eventually lower humidity by then. So your seven-day forecast, 92 scattered thunderstorms developing this afternoon, mainly morning showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. I think as we get towards the evening, we're dry and we're cooler. After hitting 78, we fall. 63 tomorrow night. Yes, turn off the air conditioning. Open up the window. Sun and clouds on Wednesday. A few showers possible with another front on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're below average at 74. Cool start to Saturday. Mild finish with sunshine. That's the Mike Brookins pick day of the week. Abby.